So just coming to sit, setting the, setting the intention of doing a setting, grounding, resting, the support practice, and how this can make us more mindful, more aware of ourselves, our own processes, and the motivation for doing this, how by knowing ourselves better can that help us in our daily life and those around us. So we just settle the mind, just by bringing your awareness to the breath. Maybe just lengthening the in-breath slightly, so the in and the out-breath are about the same age as each other. Well, they may be counting to three or four on the in-breath, and three or four on the out-breath. Same breathing in, breathing out, or words that work for you, or just using your hands as you breathe in, lifting the hands, and breathing out, bring them down. So just using what works for you, and giving your mind something to focus on, by regulating the breath, counting the words, moving to the hands. The mind has something to focus on. And in doing that, it just helps the thoughts maybe slow slightly, maybe get out space between thoughts. Just allow the experience to be yes, it is. So the thoughts seem to speed up or kind of hunk more, less space between them, that's okay. Just accepting it as it is at this moment in time. And when you get carried away with thinking, as our minds do, just coming back to the breath. We're just lengthening the in and the out breaths about the same as each other, counting, or using words, or movement to the hands. So the mind has something to focus on, just allowing the mind to settle. We're not pushing away thoughts, trying to get rid of thoughts. Maybe they just slow slightly. A bit like maybe with a muddy pond, if we stop stirring the water, the mud doesn't go, but it settles. The water becomes clearer as our minds might become clearer. And then just bring your awareness, particularly to the out breath. Maybe noticing a slight sense of relaxation in the body as you breathe out. It might also seem like the awareness is dropping into the body. As if the mind's been held by the body and the body by the ground. And then just as you go, with regulation of breath, any counting of words or movement, just bring your attention to the body. Maybe just scan the body briefly, so starting at the toes, just noticing how the toes are on the sole of the feet and the top of the feet. So you're not picturing them or imagining, just sensing into them. Coming aware of the ankles, the lower legs, the knees and the thighs. Noticing the weight of the bones and the muscles. The pressure maybe of the legs against the chair. The sensation of air or clothes against the skin. And the hips, the pelvis, the back, the lower back, upper back, middle back. Maybe the shape of the spine. The belly, maybe the movement of the belly with the breath. And the chest, again sensing into the movement of the chest with the breath. Maybe the heartbeat. The hands, wrists and lower arms and upper arms. And shoulders, just noticing those strong sensations within the shoulders. The neck and face and scalp. And just guide your attention down the body, down to the lower part of the body, really connecting that sense of 
Your weight being held by the chair and the floor. Noticing where the feet touch the floor, if your feet are touching the floor. Your connection with the ground. And then just letting go of the tension of the body. You're just going to rest the mind. Now we might rest the body. You're just resting the mind. So we're letting thoughts, sensations, emotions just come and go. Not getting caught up in thinking. Maybe like clouds across the sky. Just let them pass, leaves and water. At some point, we're likely to get carried away with the thoughts and start thinking. Just get carried, carried away without thinking. And when that happens, just using the breath to come back to the present. Use the breath, which is always in the present, just to come back into that mindful awareness. And there's nothing wrong with getting caught up in thinking. That's part of the mindful practice. It's what our minds do. And the mindfulness is becoming aware that have, we have got caught up in thinking and just being able to bring ourselves back to the breath. Each time your mind wanders, just going back to the breath. Not with heavy touch, it's not like at the beginning where we brought our full awareness to the breath. Just a light touch on the breath. So aware, we could be aware of the breath. We can also be aware of thoughts, sounds, sensations, eyes open, colors and shapes, light through the lids. Just being aware of all that's around. Just letting it pass through awareness. Thoughts arise, they display and they go. You don't have to hang on to them. Your mind's wandered. Just coming back to the breath. A real gentle touch to the breath, like an anchor. It just helps us remain present. Each time the mind wanders, just coming back to the breath. You might wonder as soon as you come back to the breath, within seconds it could start wandering again. That's okay, that's all part of the practice. Just recognizing it, congratulating yourself and being mindful. And come back, that open awareness, a gentle touch on the breath. Carrying on like this, or maybe just for the last few minutes, maybe just being curious about where your mind goes. So when you notice that your mind's wandered, just note where had it gone? What was it thinking about? And then coming back to the breath. Not getting caught up and thinking about thinking, just noting and coming back.
Where is your breath, your mind at this moment in time? What is it caught up in? And it has been thinking and just going back to the breath, the anchor to the present. 